how to turn printed text into digital text with nothing but Gboard. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. I really don't like keying things into the computer from things that I've written on a piece of paper. It just seems like a waste of time. And yes, we've always been able to use a scanner and digitize our documents. We've, we've had that capability for years. That's not what I'm talking about. And with OCR, we've been able to search for text in those scanned documents, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about today is being able to take things that are printed on a piece of paper and turn it into text that you can edit at will and do anything that you want with on your computer. Now, I've talked about this topic before. In April, I showed you how to do this very thing using Google Lens. In July, I showed you how to take cursive writing and turn it into editable text using ChatGPT. But today, I want to show you something that I think is even easier if you're working with print. It doesn't work well on cursive, but it works on print when it's from a, a document or text, even on a screen. The tool I'm using is the Gboard keyboard on my Android phone. Now, your phone, of course, comes with a keyboard installed, but you can download other keyboards. What keyboards do you have installed and how can you switch from one to the other? Well, let's learn how to do that little skill set. On an Android phone, go to your phone settings and look for system or language input. I happened to find mine under general management and then went to keyboard list and defaults. Look for either virtual keyboard or on-screen keyboard. So it's a little bit of navigation, but once you get there, see if Gboard is already an option that you have. If not, download it from the Google Play Store and then go through that little routine again to, to find that list of keyboards that you have on your phone. And if you're using an iPhone, you can also use Gboard in the body of the blog post. I'm going to link to a video that shows you exactly how to do that. So let's say I'm taking notes on my phone. That note could be in Evernote, it could be in Google Keep, it could be in Google Docs, it could be in Word, it could be in Apple Notes, it could be anything. It really doesn't matter. What does matter is that you're using the Gboard keyboard. So in the settings, you'll just have to flip Gboard on and you're all set and ready to go. Gboard is a great keyboard anyway. So for this example, I'm going to use comments that are printed on the back of one of the books I've written, Get Organized Digitally. By the way, do you have your copy? If not, you can order that today. So on my keyboard, I have this little row of icons. Okay, so that's on the Gboard keyboard. I'm looking for the one called Scan Text. Now, I don't see it right here on this little row. So I one of the icons that I have looks like four squares. That's a little menu that's going to open the other options since there are more selections than will fit on that little row at any one time. By the way, if you're listening to the audio version of this episode, be sure to come over to the body of the blog post and watch the video. So touch the icon that says scan text. Your camera appears. Take a picture of the text that you want. Touch, select text, touch, insert. The text now appears in the note that you had open. So for me, Evernote, just opening a blank note and then going through that routine with my Gboard keyboard. It's that simple. Let's do another example. This time, I'm going to scan the front cover of that same book. Notice there's a little bit of cursive writing. Notice also down here in the corner, this, this letter R, the leg of the R is a word. It spells Routledge, it, it, but it's vertical. It's the, it's the name of the publisher. So let's see how Gboard handles these little uh, challenges. So I start by picking up my phone, 
I take the, uh, there's an Evernote widget on my home screen that makes it really easy. I just tap to create a new note. The next step is to tap the little four square menu so that I see the scan text tool. We tap on that tool, the camera appears. I point it at the cover of the book and snap the picture. Select text appears, tap on it, tap on the insert button. The text now appears in that Evernote note. It is fully editable. Now let me place the cover beside that note so that you can compare the two. Notice Gboard did not do a good job of handling the cursive writing. It made two mistakes. It also left out the letter I in the printed word organized. Now, perhaps that was because the word was partially covered by the cursive writing. I, I don't know. You'll have to do a little proofreading with any of these. Gboard did capture all the other printed words correctly. Notice the very last character is the letter R. That was the one in the very lower right corner of the cover. Uh, it did not pick up the word Routledge written vertically as part of that R. Now, that one would have been a little bit of a stretch, so I'm not surprised. And that's not the kind of thing you or I would be after anyway. Generally, what we're trying to do is take a normal page of just straight text and turn it into editable digital text. We spend way too much time keying words from paper into a computer manually. So the transcription was not perfect, but there were some challenges, much more so than if you were using just a standard piece of eight and a half by 11 paper with regular text. So now you have three techniques in your bag of tricks for taking printed text and digitizing it into editable text. First, you can use Google Lens, snap a picture, highlight the text, copy it, go to your note, paste. Second, you can use chat GPT. Key in, I'm going to take a picture of handwritten text. Please transcribe the handwriting into digital text. Follow the instructions that I gave you in the post that I created. I'm going to create and I'm going to give you a link to that post in the body of the blog post here. That's going to take care of your cursive transcription needs. And then finally, you can use Gboard. While you're in the note, choose the scan tool from the keyboard, snap the picture, and insert the text into your note. If you find yourself taking text from paper and keying it into your computer, stop. It's not 1975. The tools are there. We have them. Grab your phone, turn your project into editable text on your phone, let it sync to your computer, then get busy making the little edits you always want to proofread. Hey, if you found this episode valuable, please visit frankbuck.org. Join the email list for much more. I've got two free gifts as a thank you for subscribing. You'll also see information if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching and you can bring me to your organization for professional development, either virtually or in person. Click the Contact Us on my website in the upper right corner to get started. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.